As part of our series on renewable energy, I'd like to talk a little bit about solar thermal or concentrated solar power. They're two, essentially two names for the same thing. So this has to do with the fact that we, we, we're often, when we think of solar power generally, we think of photovoltaics, in other words, the solar panels that we see on people's roofs and so forth. Um, we don't think so much of solar thermal. This is a fairly new development, and what it essentially means is focusing the sun's rays on a certain point or on a certain line and using that heat to turn a turbine to generate electricity. So this is, as I say, this is fairly new, and that's kind of good when you think about it. So for instance, right now this is not horribly efficient, it's, it is quite expensive, but the fact that it's new means that there's so much potential for the costs to come down as this is developed. And when you think about, uh, think of all the sun that's hitting the earth every day. If we can capture one six thousandth of the total energy of the sun, that's more than all seven billion of us are using. So solar thermal really does have the potential to be an important contributor on this thing. So obviously there's no fuel, the sun's burning in the sky, this is completely fine. There's no cost associated with the actual fuel. Here's another thing, is that solar obviously is intermittent. The sun goes down at night and then you, you, the, the, that source of energy is gone until it comes up again the next morning. So what do you do about that in a world that requires a certain baseload, a certain consistent delivery of electrical power? Well, if you're a big fan of any of these things, you say, well, we're going to store that energy and we're going to give it, distribute it when it's needed. So in other words, it, it, if the sun is shining its brightest at three o'clock in the afternoon, that's fine. We're going to, we may be able to store a little bit of that energy and distribute it at night when the sun's down. Okay? Now, the problem with storage is that it's expensive, generally. Um, you store electricity in batteries. Batteries are horrifically expensive at the utility scale. So what to like about solar thermal is that it uses, it is essentially heat, and you can store heat energy a lot less expensively than you can electrical energy. So that's something to like. What to be concerned about this? As I say, it is quite expensive. The costs are coming down, um, and the costs will continue to come down, I think, in a big way as we continue to make breakthroughs. This is a technology that's lagging at least 25 or 30 years behind wind and photovoltaic. So there's a lot of room for improvement there. Something else to fear about this thing is that this is delivered best in the deserts, obviously the hottest parts of the world, but it also requires water. And guess what doesn't occur a lot in deserts? Water. So there, there are issues with respect to this. And as I also say, you know, there's also not a lot of population centers in the middle of the deserts. So we need to, we need to build out our grid to transmit that power to the population centers wherever they may be. In the United States, they're largely on the coasts. So those are some of the things to like and some of the things to be a little bit concerned about, about solar thermal. But overall, I think this has, a, has huge potential for the next 30, 40 years.